on out right away, Jughead. It's a matter of life or death. Oh, relax, Archie. Relax! Yes, here he is again. The unfamiliar millions of readers of Archie Comics magazine, No One Loves So Well, brought to you by Swift and Company, makers of Swift Premium Times and Swift Swift Steel Sausage. Archie Andrews, all his gang. Hear that, folks? You're listening to the actual sound of two delicious lengths of swift Brookfield sausage sizzling in the skillet. A sound that's an appetizing invitation to enjoy America's favorite pork sausage, swift Brookfield sausage. In these days when everyone is conscious of making food go further, swift Brookfield sausage makes an ideal meat. For swift Brookfield sausage is all meat, and you eat every delicious bit on your plate. Cook it slowly for best results. You'll enjoy every tasty bite of it, made of carefully selected pure fresh pork cuts that are extra tender and delicious. Swift's Brookfield Sausage is then seasoned with rare, delicate spices that give you just the right blend of delicacy and zest you want. Not too spicy, not too mild. Swift's Brookfield Sausage is the sausage with the just right seasoning. It's just good reasoning to get the sausage with the just right seasoning. And now for our weekly visit to Riverdale. It's Saturday afternoon as we look in on the Andrews home, and at the moment we find Mr. Andrews alone in the living room, sitting in his favorite armchair, reading the newspaper. Plan scolding my little son for reaching with a kick. I said he would have to be more mannerly if he asked that someone pass the cake to him. <laughs> He replied, oh, Mommy, what does manners get you? <laughs> Every time Daddy gets to light in the train or bus, it costs him a seat. <laughs> As you say, yes, dear. Now the ringing. Yeah, I hear it. Well, answer it. Well, Mary, I'm Fred. reading my... Yes, dear, I'll answer it. Oh, Mungo, fine singer. Hello? Hello, Mr. Andrews? Uh, yes. This is Veronica. Is Archie home? Oh, hello, Veronica. Yes, Archie's home. Did you want to talk to him? No, all right, I'll call it. No, well, you don't. That's right. I thought you just gave him a message phone. Oh, of course, Veronica. What is it? Well, Archie was supposed to come over here this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Yes? But ask him to make it 4 o'clock instead. 4 o'clock instead. I'm going down to Stacy's apartment store to do some Christmas shopping this afternoon. This is about the last chance I'll have. All right, Veronica, I'll tell him. All right, Veronica, I'll tell him. Thanks ever so much, Miss Andrews. Bye. 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 George, it's a good thing Veronica called. I'd forgotten all about Christmas shopping, and I still don't have this from Mary Hardy. So I'd put my hat and get down to Stacy's right now. This is the last chance I'll have. To... Oh, fine. Yes, dear. Doorbell's ringing. I hear it, dear. I hear it. Oh, all right, dear. All right, dear. All right. I never have a chance to do... Oh, good grief. Jughead. Who'd you expect? Jersey Joe Wilcox? <laughs> no, Jughead, and I don't want to fight with you either. I'm in a hurry. I... Oh, gee, hiya, Jug. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, Archie. I came over to see what you're doing. Well, I was... Oh, just... Archie, Veronica just called. She and... was, she did? Yes, Archie, she did. And she... Gee, said... I never heard the phone ring. Well, it's fine. And well, Veronica... why didn't you tell me? Archie. Yes, Dad? Do you care to hear what Veronica said or not? Well, sure, Dad, sure. Then be quiet and I'll tell you. Okay, Dad, okay. She said to, uh, to, uh... Oh, yeah. She said to change your appointment with her from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. From 3 to 4? Yes, an hour later. She was, I wonder why. Well, she had some things to attend to, and I'm going out. I'll see you later. Yeah, okay, Dad. Goodbye. Bye, Miss Andrews. She was, that's great. Huh? Well, now that Veronica's made our date an hour later, I have time to get my Christmas shopping done. But I... This is practically the last chance I'll have. But I... It's a good thing I thought of it. But I haven't bought a thing for anyone yet. Including me? Including you. Archie, it's time you did your Christmas shopping. <laughs> That's right, Jug. Come on, we'll go right down to Stacy. Oh, what are you going to get me, huh? Jug, you'll just have... Oh, Mrs. Andrews, this is Betty. Oh, 
Hello, dear. How are you? Fine, thanks, Mrs. Andrews. Uh, is Archie home? Yes, dear. I think he's upstairs. Uh, Archie! Archie! That's funny. He must have gone out, too. I wish people would tell me when they're going out. Um, hello, Betty. Yes, Mrs. Andrews? Archie doesn't seem to be home, dear. Oh. No, dear. And, Betty, I hate to cut you short, but I have to run now. I'm just leaving to do my Christmas shopping. Oh, golly, I'm glad you mentioned that, Mrs. Andrews. I haven't done my shopping yet, either. Oh, you haven't? Well, would you like to go with me, dear? Oh, I'd love to, Mrs. Andrews. All right. I'll pick you up right away, and we'll go down to Stacy's. <laughs> such crowds. Yes, Jughead, but when we got in that elevator and everyone started pushing, did you have to push back? Listen, Archie, in that crowd, even a sardine would have pushed back. Well, never mind. We're here now, and the first thing I want to buy is a compact for Veronica. I wonder where the cosmetic department is. Cosmetic department? Yeah. She is, Archie. Let's go up to the toy department first. Jug, I told you we'll go up to the toy department later. Now, come on. I'll ask that floor walker where the cosmetic department is. Gee whiz. Okay. Oh, mister. Yes, yes. Could you tell me where the cosmetic department is, please? Yes. Counter seven. Thank you. Come on, Jug. Where is it? Counter seven. Where is that? Gee, I don't know. Oh, mister. Yes. Where is counter seven? On the north side of counter six. Oh, thank you. I'll just... Uh... Mister? Well, what now? Which way is north? Oh, my land. Sonny, you see the boys' clothing department right there? Yes. Well, go right down on that aisle where the dummies are and turn right. Oh, okay, mister. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Yes, madam. Can I help you? Where do you say it is, Archie? Right down at the next aisle, Judd. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. He's sure not a very friendly floor walker. Maybe his wife beats him. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I... Ooh, what was that? You bumped into that dummy. Oh, gee whiz, I knocked the hat off. For a minute, I thought that dummy was a real person. Wait a second, Junk, till I put the hat back on. Okay. Hmm, if that floor walker ever saw me fooling around this dummy, he'd probably throw us out of the store or something. Gee whiz. I... What's the matter? There's Veronica. Veronica? Oh, gee whiz, I don't want her to see me here. She's coming right towards us. Oh, boy. Jug, I'm going to be a dummy. Huh? I'm going to climb up on this platform with the rest of these dummies, and, and I'll wear this hat. But, Archie, oh, you Judge, can't don't do argue. That. Don't argue. Here. How do I look? <laughs> You're the most natural-looking dummy I ever saw. Don't be funny, Jug, and put that price tag on me quick. Okay. Here. Had a boy. Now, remember, don't give me away no matter what happens. Well, okay, Bush. What, Jug, here? Oh. Um, Hi, Veronica. What y'all doing here? Ooh, just a little shopping. Oh, I am too. Thank goodness I have most of it done. Oh, that's good. Only thing I still have to get is a gift for Archie. Archie? Uh huh. But I don't know what to get him. He's such a problem. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. I can't get him a book or anything because he's not the intelligent kind. <laughs> a baseball glove or anything because he's not much of an athlete. <laughs> Can't get him a tie or anything because he just doesn't know anything about style. <laughs> In fact, sometimes I think Archie is an awful dummy. <laughs> but then again, with prices being what they are, there isn't very much you can get for a dollar. <laughs> Did you say something, Jughead? Me? Not a word, Veronica, not a word. Oh, well, I'd better go get some more shopping done. Would you like to come along? Oh, I... Uh, no, Veronica, I can't. I'm meeting someone here in a minute. Oh, well, I'll run along then. Bye now, Jughead. Bye, Veronica, bye. Okay, dummy, you can relax now. A fine thing, a fine thing. Jughead, help me down off this platform. I just... He was not now. Huh? Here comes a floor walker. Oh, boy, I think be a dummy some more. Yes, madam. <laughs> you can return at any time. Yes, ma'am. Oh, me. Never have I seen such a rush. Never in all my... Land's sake. Who put that dummy here? Oh, boy. Oh, if that isn't the silliest-looking dummy I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know why that stock room can't stand one that looks at least half alive. I have never seen one with such an insipid expression. 
and such a ridiculous posture. Uh, uh, mister. Yes? I'm... I'm not really a dummy. That makes absolutely no difference. They still should... Oh, good heavens, you're alive. Uh-huh. Oh, for pity's sake. Young man, come down off there. Yes, sir. Well... Just what were you doing on that platform, looking like a dummy? Well, that's a long story, sir. You see, oh, I was... Oh, good I... heavens, young man. Will you do me a favor? Yes, sir. As soon as you've paid for that jacket, leave the store. Huh? I said as soon as you've finished buying that jacket... This jacket? Yes, that jacket with the price tag on it. You're buying it, aren't you? But this is my jacket. Your jacket? Hmm. Did you have the sales slip? Well, no. I bought it here last year. <laughs> and you haven't removed the price tag yet? Removed the... Pr- Oh, mister, you don't understand. Young I, man, I, I understand perfectly. The price is fourteen ninety five, and I want it right now. Oh, but mister, now, I... Now, I said. But you don't understand. This is my own jacket. No fooling. Jughead, tell the man this is my jacket, and... J- j- Jughead? Young man, are you calling me names? Oh. No, 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 sir. I, I was talking to my friend. What friend? Well, that's just it. He, he was here a minute ago. He was, I bet he went up to the toy department. Mister, if you'd just come up to the toy department, we can find my friend and he'll tell Young you... Young man, that I am not going I... up to the toy department or anywhere else until I have the $14.95 for that jacket. But that's all the money I have and I... I just... Oh, wait a minute. Beg pardon? I know. Mister, if I paid you for this jacket, you'd give me a sales slip and then I could take it over to the exchange department and get my money back, couldn't I? Yes, you like. Oh, well, in that case, it's all right. I haven't anything to worry about. Here's the money. Yeah, thank you. And here's your sales slip. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Good day, sir. Good day. <laughs> Guess I fooled him. Yes, sir. It's a good thing I think fast. For a minute there, it looked like I wouldn't have any Christmas money. But now all I have to do is take this coat and, and go to the exchange counter and give them this jacket, and then I'll... Gee whiz. If I do, I won't have any jacket left. Oh, boy, how do I get into these things? Well, now, let's see. First thing I better do is get that bottle of perfume for Mary. Ah, here's the perfume counter right here. Let's see now. What kind should I get her? Well, they certainly have quite an assortment. <laughs> Chase me, twenty-five dollars. Hide and seek, thirty-two dollars. Wallflower, no more, forty dollars. Hmm. I never smell anything worth that kind of money. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Evening in Riverdale, ten dollars. Well, that's a little better. <laughs> I think Mary likes this perfume. That's just what I'll get her. Oh, miss, uh, I'll take this bottle. Yes, miss, Mr. Anderson. Well, Jughead, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Strange. I'm looking for Archie. I thought you were with Archie. Well, I was, but he just... Well, I'm trying to get one of these sales girls to wait on me here, but they're all so busy. Gee, I guess. Wins. So what's the matter? There's Mrs. Andrews. Mary? Where? Right over there. Oh, good grief. If she sees me with this bottle of perfume, she'll know what I'm getting her for Christmas. She's coming this way. Yes, I know. I see. I'll just duck the bottle in my pocket. There, right in this pocket. Now she sees me. Just a moment, I... please. Yeah? I saw that. Saw what? Oh. 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 Oh, now, mister, you don't understand. You don't understand Oh, all. I, I don't, don't I? No, you... Did you or did you not just had a bottle of perfume in your pocket? Well, yes, but... Have you paid for it? Well, no, but... Well, I don't know what you call it, but we call it shoplifting. Yes, of course, it's shoplifting. Oh, now, wait a minute, mister. I can explain. I can explain the entire thing. Mm-hmm. I... I'm listening. Well, you, you see, I've been trying to get one of the sales girls to wait on me, and I, I just saw my wife over there, and I hid the bottle because I didn't want her to know what I'm getting her for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Just where is your wife? Well, she was right over... over, over... Oh, good heaven, she's gone. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, but she was right there. Jughead, tell the man how we saw my wife. Well, now, where did he go to? Who? Jughead. He was standing right here just a second ago. I don't know where he... Mister. Could... Huh? Do you imagine these things very often? Imagine what? Do you have delusions? But I fell. Oh, but I... Just... before your eyes. Now, keep calm. Keep calm. No need to get excited. Just give me back the perfume, and we'll forget the whole thing, and you can go right home and lie down. Lie down? But who wants the to lie... The perfume, please. I... Yes, sir. I have it right in my... 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 Oh... 
Something wrong? Duh, huh? It leaked. What leaked? The perfume bottle. It leaked all over my pocket. Steve's half empty. Oh, for land's sake. Now you'll have to pay for it. What? That's right. I was going to forget the whole incident, but I can't return a damaged bottle to the counter. Well, I'm certainly not going to pay for a leaky bottle of perfume. Mister, if you're not satisfied with the item, you can take it to the exchange department. But I must be paid for it. But... I said I must. <sighs> oh, me. You win. I'll go to the exchange department, but how I get into these things, I'll never know. <laughs> do you like best, Betty? Mm, the dark blue one, I think. I do, too. Blue is Aunt Hattie's favorite color. Oh, but is it her size, Mrs. Andrews? Well, there's only one way to tell, Betty. I'll have to try it on. Try it on? Uh-huh. I wear the same size that Aunt Hattie does, and if it fits me, it'll fit her. Uh, here, hold my coat, dear, while I step into this dressing room and put this bathrobe on. Oh, all right, Mrs. Andrews. It'll just take me a second, dear. I'd hate to go to all the trouble of buying this and sending it to Hattie and then not have it fit. Uh-huh. Then I'd only have to return it for her since she lives out of... T- oh, dear. What is it? There's no hanger in here for my dress. Oh, well, hand it to me, Mrs. Andrews. I'll hold it. All right, dear. Here you are. Uh, I have it. Oh, thank you, dear. I'll have this robe on in just a minute. There. Oh, how's it look, Betty? Uh, well, it looks a little big to me. It does? Well, I'd better take a look in this mirror. I... Oh, Betty, you don't have to hold my coat and dress. Just put them on that empty rack. Oh, all right, Mrs. Andrews. Now, let's see. Hmm. Yes, it is a little big. Yes, it is. I- I'll have to ask the sales girl if she has a smaller size. You wait here, Betty. Oh, what, uh, Miss? Miss, you have to... You wait, Betty. Jughead, what are you doing here? Looking for Archie. Archie, is he here? Well, I think so. We came here together, but we got separated. Oh, well, where'd you see him last? On the dummy platform. What? Well, you see, he was being a dummy. What? A dummy. You know, the kind that looks like this. <laughs> Jug, what are you talking about? Excuse me, mister. I've got to move this rack. What? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Mo, get the other end now. Uh, easy now. Jughead, what are you trying to tell me about Archie? Betty, it's an awful long story. All I want to know is, have you seen him? Well, no, I haven't. Well, then I better keep looking. He may be in trouble. What kind of trouble? I can't tell you now, Betty. See you later. Bye. But, Jug, wait, Jug! Oh, golly, that Jughead, he's a stranger. Betty, person. how do you like this bathrobe? Oh, that's fine, Mrs. Anders, but I just... This size does fit much better, doesn't it, dear? Yes, Mrs. Anders, but I... I can... Betty! What happened to it? What happened to what? The rack. What rack? The rack you put my dress on. Oh, golly, I don't know. But my dress... My dress and coat were on it. Oh, golly, it was here a minute ago. My dress? But, Betty, what did I do? Nothing wrong, madam. Uh, yes, I lost my dress. I think it. I... Beg your pardon? My dress. We put it down here for a minute while I tried on this bathrobe, and now it's gone. The bathrobe? No, the dress. But it couldn't be. But it is, isn't it, Betty? Oh, yes, indeed, Mrs. Andrews. Oh, Oh, my land, I have never seen such a day. Living dummies, men hiding from their wives, and now this woman loses her dress. But I tell you, it was right under my nose. I should hope so. Well, do something. Do something. Madam, what can I do about your dress? Find it. No, madam, be calm, be calm. uh, It was probably taken by mistake, and it'll be turned into the lost and found department. Well, where's that? At the other end of the floor, next to the exchange department. Come on, Betty. Madam, where are you going? To the lost and found department. But, madam, certainly not in our bathrobe. Well, certainly not without it. <laughs> Come on, Betty, we'll go see if they have my dress. How these things happen to me, I'll never know. <laughs> Archie. Yes, Judd. Now can I tell you who I met? Yes, Judd. Well, first I ran into... Archie, what in tarnation are you doing here? She was Dad. Where'd you come from? Never mind where I came from. Archie, what are you doing standing here in your shirt sleeves? Well, Dad, I can explain. You see, I came over... What are you doing here? Mary, what are you doing in your bathrobe? Oh, it's not my bathrobe. Fred Andrews, you smell. (laughs) What? You positively reek of perfume. Oh. No. <laughs> yes, yes, I do, don't I? <laughs> well, uh, you see, dear, Mr. I... Mr. Andrews, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, Veronica. Jughead, why did you tell me Archie was here? Well, Veronica, I talked to see the trouble here. Oh, the floor walker. 
Mister, I'm trying to find out why my son is standing here in his shirt sleeves. Uh, and, please, there's no need to get. And the... I want to know why you smell a perfume, lady. Uh, and what are you doing in that bathroom, Mister? Well, please I'm don't. I'm trying to my own coat. Where'd you get it, Rocky? Where'd you get it? 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 Where'd you That's better. Now, listen to me, all of you. This nonsense has gone far enough. Too far, in fact. Yes, yes Mr. Andrew. Yes, dear. Yes, Dad. It certainly has. But yes. all afternoon, you people have made my life quite miserable for me. Quite miserable. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Now, if there's any reason for it, I feel I'm entitled to an explanation. Well, mister, you know the coat, the one you thought I was buying? Yes. Well, my mother and father and Jughead and Veronica can all identify it as my old coat. But well, of that's... course that's Archie's coat. Oh, yes. Yes. I know that's his coat. Oh, dear. You mean it really is? Yes. And maybe you'll recall that you didn't believe my wife was in the store when I hid the perfume bottle in my pocket. Well, yes, I... Well, this is my wife. Oh, how do you do? Uh, I'm very sorry. And I just found out that two of your men moved an empty rack while I was talking to Jughead here, didn't they, Jughead? Sure they did. And that was the rack that had my dress and coat on it. Well, Mr. Floor Walker, what do you say to that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Please, please, please. That's please. what I want to know. No tempers, I... please. No tempers, no tempers. Well, well. The customer's always right at jail. Stacy, we'll make amends, make amends. Hmm. Mistakes will happen, you know. Hmm. Young man, hmm. since that does seem to be your own coat, you may keep it. And I'll give you a cash credit set for what you paid me. Thank you. And you, sir? Yes? I'll be glad to give you another bottle of perfume. Compliments of the store. Well, that's better. And madam? Yes. I'm sure we can find your dress and coat in the Lost and Found Department, and you may keep that bathrobe at no charge. Well, thank you. I'm here, too. Judge, uh, shut up. Well, people, uh, that satisfy you? Well, yes, I think that straightens everything out all right. I'm sorry there's been so much misunderstanding. That's uh, quite all right. Yes. Quite all right. <clears throat> and now, folks, if everything's settled, let's stop hiding from each other and get this Christmas shopping over and done with once and for all. Yes, yes Mr. Andrews. Yes, dear. Yes, Dad. All right. Now, I... What was that? Five o'clock. Thank heaven. Store's closing. You folks will all have to come back next Monday. Oh, come back? Monday! You mean we got to go to Made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast, Swift's premium planks are then wrapped in cellophane for extra protection. Ask for them today. You'll find eight to ten of the most delicious francs you ever tasted in each pound package of Swift's Premium Franks. And while you're at your dealers, look for Swift's Premium Table-Ready Meats. Like Swift's Premium Franks, Swift's Premium Table-Ready Meats are economical foods for these days. There's no waste to them because you eat every bit you buy. Another top favorite in these days when every bite counts is Swift's Brookfield Sausage. Made of pure, fresh pork, Swift's Brookfield Sausage is seasoned just right. Not too spicy, not too mild, but just right. Remember, it's just good reasoning. Get the sausage with the just right seasoning. Swift Brookfield Sausage! <laughs> Now, back to the Andrews. It's Monday night as we look in on the Andrews home, and the family has just come home from Stacy's department store. Uh, oh, Mary, it certainly is good to be home. Oh, it certainly is. And how? Uh, you know, I'm dead. Oh, I am too, dear. I've never seen such a mob. Me too. <sighs> but at least we got all our shopping done. And you know, Mary, if I never set foot in a crowded store again, it'll be too soon. Well, oh, gee whiz. Well, what is it, Archie? This letter from Uncle George. Oh? Uncle George? Uh-huh. 
He sent us a $50 gift certificate from J.L. Stacy's department store. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. You've been listening to another chapter of The Adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Zampel, and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics magazine. Archie was played by Bob Hastings, Jughead with Harlan Stone. Mom and Dad Andrews were played by Alice Shorman and Arthur Cole. Veronica and Betty by Gloria Mann and Rosemary Wright. The Four Walker was Ray Hedge. This program was produced and directed by Kenneth McGregor. Listen next Saturday when Swift and Company, makers of Swift Premium Franks and Swift Brookfield Sausage, bring you more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Bob Cherry wishing you a very pleasant weekend. So long. <laughs> Swift and Company invite you to stay tuned for Meet the Meek, which follows immediately over most of these stations. This is NBC, the National Broadcasting Company.